Tip Benson here, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to bring you today's video. I am partnering with Bulgari to share with you their new Allegra collection. I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you. So if you want to see more and if you want to hear more about the new Allegra collection, make sure to like this video and let's get started. We'll also be doing a sampling opportunity for this collection. Supplies will be limited though. I will leave a link in the description with all the info there. So I have my handy dandy package here from Bulgari. Oh, and I have 10 amazing, beautiful, unique fragrances to share with you. I'd love if you leave a comment and let me know what's your favorite Bulgari fragrance. I'm super curious. Also, let me know what fragrance from this collection has piqued your interest and you'd like to learn more about. I'm always super curious about your thoughts, especially when it comes to fragrance. Lastly, I will link each product that I mentioned in this video in the description. Should you want to shop or learn more or discover, I will be linking all the products down below. So I was super fortunate to stop by the Bulgari Boutique the other day and experience the entire collection. They closed down the boutique for me so that I could smell safely and I thoroughly enjoyed the entire experience. That boutique is a total vibe. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably have already seen a sneak peek a little behind the scenes of the boutique. So if you're not familiar with the House of Bulgari, they are known for their gorgeous high-end jewelry, their stunning handbags, obviously their gorgeous fragrances as well. They even have hotels and resorts, which hopefully one day I will get to visit. It's a legacy brand that's been around for 130 years and they are known for their excellence, their elegance, and Italian luxury, which I love. I mean, as you can see, I'm genuinely obsessed with the brand and that's why I'm so happy and so honored to bring this collection here to you. Here is a preview. So let's get started with the core collection of fragrances from the Allegra collection. So we have five new Eau de Parfum fragrances which express five moments and five emotions that embody the Italian lifestyle. According to their website, it says, from quiet moments to outrageous celebrations, the Allegra collection captures how you want to feel in any given moment. Then we have the magnifying essences. These are in the white bottles. And according to the website, it says they're inspired by the preciousness of the essences they encapsulate. The magnifying essences come in a gorgeous white bottle. You know, this right here, this is totally my aesthetic in love. The essences can be worn with the fragrances to amplify, enhance, or even personalize your fragrance. Okay, so let's go through each fragrance one by one, starting with the core collection. This is Fiore di Amore, and it is stunning. Oh my God. Look at the bottle presentation. Ugh. I am obsessed. This fragrance is inspired by the excitement one feels when they're given a beautiful bouquet of flowers. This fragrance is all about Bulgarian and Turkish rose and prelude raspberry. It's a floral fragrance that's super feminine. Packaging is stunning and gorgeous, as you can tell. It's very pretty, and this is something that I would wear in a date night occasion, moments where I want to be noticed. I really enjoy this one a lot. Up next, we have Fantasia Venita, which is stunning as well. Gorgeous bottle. We have a purple, deeply saturated bottle with red accents. So pretty. The name translates to Venetian fantasy and this fragrance is inspired by the excitement of an Italian festa. Key notes here are patchouli and red peach. It's a fruity chypre fragrance, which is super feminine again. It feels like a night out fragrance. It's fun, it's playful. This is definitely an attention grabbing fragrance, which we love. I would definitely wear this on a night out. I would even wear this on date night. Up next, we have Dolce Estasi. Oh, gorgeous. Talk about getting ready for spring in this bottle. 
It also has the bulgari detail in the back, just so you can see. Oh, I'm just so obsessed with the packaging. The packaging is really stunning. I mean, even down to the details in the cap. I mean, bulgari, y'all just know how to make good fragrance. I'm sorry. You nailed it this time. So the name of this fragrance translates to sweet ecstasy. It's inspired by Italian desserts. I just, I love this packaging so much. I think it's so cute and so playful and colorful. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed with the packaging. Prominent notes in this fragrance are musk and heliotrope. It's a powdery gourmand floral fragrance. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. It's almost like a powdery creaminess, almost like a delectableness to it. It's very cozy and creamy and I would wear this for casual moments. Maybe even moments where I want to snuggle up next to my partner. Up next, we have Rockin' Rome. And this is so vibrant and just so, so pretty. It's like the orange with the purple. Oof, I love it. I'm going to spray this on here. According to the website, which I'm reading it now, it says Rock and Rome immortalizes the intimacy of a shared spritz in a licorice floriental fragrance. Prominent notes of this fragrance are apricot, osmanthus, and benzoin. Something about this fragrance reminds me of my childhood as well. I'm not quite sure what it is. It almost smells like a fruit juice, a sexy fruit juice made of apricots and sensualness. It's a floriental fragrance, very, very feminine. It does have a cocktail vibe to it. It has some effervescency up there in the top notes. It's bubbly and fun, and I like this one a lot. I will definitely be wearing this into the springtime. Oh, so, so good. Up next, we have... Riva Solare, which the bottle, again, I'm just so obsessed. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. It matches my outfit. I try. <laughs> the fragrance stands for Solar Shore. And it's inspired by the shimmering seas and sunlit skies of the Italian Riviera, which I hope God, I hope one day I get to see. But for now, I'll just, I'll just use my fragrance. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of fragrance to transport you to wherever you want to go. Again, packaging, spotlight. I mean, it is just so beautiful with that blue, that sky blue bottle with the yellow accents. It's like the sun and the sky. Oh, I just love it. Prominent notes here are bergamot and neroli. It's a citrusy floral. If you like bright, sunny, fresh scents, you will enjoy this one. I'd wear this into the spring, definitely into the summer as I think that this would perform best. Oh my gosh, I think this would be fabulous for summer hot weather. It's just, it's a vibe for sure. All right, so now we have the magnifying essences. First magnifying essence that we are going to discuss is the magnifying musk. Let me show you, let me give you a proper reveal. You see it says magnifying musk at the bottom. The cap detail is stunning, just like the jewelry, that logo detail, just so gorgeous. This is musk and again, like the name, it's meant to amplify your fragrance or personalize your fragrance with more musk essence. Musk can be quite warm and sensual, which we love. So if you're a musk fan and you wanna magnify and amplify your fragrance with a musky scent, go for this one. Up next, we have magnifying bergamot. And look at the packaging. I mean, this is totally my vibe, totally my aesthetic. I'm obsessed. Let me just spray it on. This is a citrusy fragrance. The essence is surrounded around the note of bergamot. I would use this fragrance if I wanted to brighten up my fragrance, make it come more alive with a note of citrus. We have magnifying rose up next. 
And here's the bottle. This is the bottle presentation, again, with the beautiful cap detail. So this is a floral fragrance with the prominent essence of rose. If you're a rose lover, you will really like this fragrance. I choose this essence to amplify or personalize my fragrance if I wanted to make it more sensual. You know, rose can be quite romantic. It's also known for being an aphrodisiac. So this particular rose essence is quite radiant and slightly powdery. It's a blend of Turkish rose and Bulgarian rose and Rose lovers will not be disappointed. Ooh, and one of my faves. This is Magnifying Vanilla. And again, with the beautiful cap detail. So, vanilla, vanilla lovers, are you out there? This is an oriental fragrance with the prominent note of vanilla. I would use this to amplify my scents with a touch of warmth. Vanilla can be quite delicious and sweet, and I love it in a fragrance. It's also an aphrodisiac note too, so spray it wisely. Another one of my favorites, I'm really starting to get into patchouli. This is magnifying patchouli, and of course, the beautiful cap detail. So. I sprayed this on when I was at the Bulgari boutique and I'm telling you, I was in love. Something about patchouli to me just comes across as dark. It's a dark smelling, right? It's a dark smelling fragrance, but it's also quite earthy and I find it to be very classy elegant even. I would use this essence if I wanted to give my fragrance some more depth and richness. Here this patchouli is done in a way that's quite elegant and you know I just love fragrances like that. So did you enjoy this video? If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up right now. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and it also lets me know that you enjoy content like this. I'd love if you leave a comment and let me know what fragrance piqued your interest today. There's so many gems here and I cannot wait for you to try them. Remember, I will be linking all of the fragrances down below in the description box. Should you wanna shop or learn more, I'm gonna spray on one more time my scent of the day which is Riva Solare. So thank you so much to the sponsors of this video, Bulgari. I love you forever. I will definitely be back in store, maybe to buy a Serpenti bag, maybe to get a Serpenti ring. It is definitely on my wish list. So many things in that store on my wish list. Oh my God, obsessed. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I love you forever. Please keep your head up, stay positive, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.